Okay, good morning. I'm live. Oh, should be live now. Hopefully my internet connection will be sufficient. Probably should check, but I don't see any uh, messages from YouTube saying things are bad. Let's see what sort of connection I got. 4G, looks like. Bunch of cars, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Find out. <clears throat> I uh, downloaded a uh, morning, everybody. Welcome to Scottish Fitness. Today we're going to do a quick breakfast chat. Uh, I did uh, a nice grilled steak dinner last night. And what steak we didn't eat, I am now going to uh, incorporate into my breakfast. And always we're going to talk about nutrition, uh, some artwork. For my daughter Shana, uh, Chief Sitting Bull. This one she did, and being a soldier myself, I really, I really liked this one. You know, bring it up a little bit closer. It kind of speaks to me. Biscuits and gravy. Oh, no, Mama, I forgot to go get the sausage. Uh, so that'll be. The next one, I was in the store, I got steak for dinner, I got lots of toilet paper for the upcoming storm, <laughs> and uh, salt for the softener, and water for the house, and charcoal for the grill, and about halfway home, I was like, shoot. So uh, today when I go out, I'm going to get me a bunch of sausage, uh, one, one to cook, and probably four or five to put in the freezer. And then my next one will be biscuits and gravy. Today it's going to be steak and eggs. Uh, here's what's left over from last night. And I find a great way to tie it in is to chop it up and get it going on the skillet. This will be a little faster cook. I really don't have to wait for the the bacon. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who stopped in yesterday from the proper nation. Uh, John came over and he had a bunch of his his group come over and I, I really do appreciate the subs and the and the shout outs. Uh, for those that are on my channel, and if you're not subscribed to Proper Nation, I think it's worthwhile. They have a Morning chat at 8.15 Central Time, which I'm pretty sure is 9.15 Eastern. And it's always a good discussion. A lot of good people there. And I appreciate the shout out from him. So basically here with Second Day Steak, just chop up the pieces and get a little... Uh, Olive oil. I picked this one up because of uh, Rudy at uh, Alaska Proper. He liked Goya. Basically, uh, just throwing a little olive oil in there for a base. I got the steak, which is already cooked, so all I really need to do is just heat it up. Uh, still got some of my green pepper left. I got maybe one more day on this. Before it starts complaining, uh, the green peppers or green onions I've already used. Uh, later on today, I'm going to make a dessert. It's called like apple pie cake, and I got it from the Alaska proper Rudy. Uh, got about maybe a year and a half ago or two years ago, he he did a video on how to make it. And, and uh, I actually have a video on how to make it, but I'm going to do another one because on the other video, I'm, I'm cooking a few things at the same time. It's not really labeled well, but uh, makes it good for a good dessert. You can't eat healthy 24 seven. Uh, here's, here's the other one she did of City Bowl. She does this freehand. So I got oil getting warm. 
kind of like this enough to coat it. And basically because I only need to heat up the steak, I can actually put the meat in and the green peppers in at the same time. And generally this is about the only time that I'm going to use steak sauce. Because I'm going to be covering the eggs with it. And it's day old steak, it's dried up a little bit. Multivitamin every morning. Uh, here I'm going to kind of break up my vitamins in uh, two times during the day. So here's going to be basically my immune fighters. Vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D3. Uh, before I head to the gym, I'll take the one for uh, muscle generation and everything. If you're going to hit that like button, I appreciate it. If you got any questions about nutrition or lifting, pop it in the live chat. I'll try to answer everything I see. Basically, this is going to become my uh, my channel normal ritual. Try to do a breakfast chat at 9.30 Central Time at least three to four days a week. Uh, I'll try to vary what I have, but the majority of what I eat is going to be egg-based. And it gives a great source of protein. Put it on the size of the egg, whether it's medium, large, extra large, or jumbo, you get somewhere between eight or six and eight grams of protein per egg. Not the book. Hmm. Let me see. Not the books. Good morning, Sam. Cousin, what do you mean by not the books? I'm not following you. I also uh, milk, fair like milk, half the sugar, 50% more protein. Uh, if you're lactose intolerant, this is the milk you can drink. Between the eggs and the milk and the meat, I'm getting a really rich uh, What are the books on the counter? I'm trying to see what you're seeing. I got some cookbooks over here. <clears throat> I got artwork over here, spices. I don't see any books. You have to send me an email tell me what you're looking at. Um, why other things are warming up? Photos, yeah. So the photos are, are paintings. So these are some paintings my daughter's done. Uh, she did this one and I asked her for it. And being a soldier, it just kind of kind of spoke to me. She's very talented. I got a lot more art out there. And uh, this one's of Sitting Bull. And uh, my wife is Lakota Indian, so <clears throat> there's a lot of this art throughout the house. Um, actually, I've been to Standing Rock Reservation out in south of North Dakota. Yeah, photos. So, yeah, paintings, absolutely. She does a lot of art. Uh, I, I wish you'd do more. I told her I would sit there and take it to some of the local businesses and sell it for her. But like a lot of people, they're very uh, shy about their talent. The problem is, anything she sends me, I keep. <laughs> so, you know, she'd have to make uh, two of something. But anything she makes one of, I keep at the house and display. So, got green pepper in there, got steak cut in there. Here's the mushroom, they cook the fastest. Mushrooms, uh, vitamin K, some essential minerals and nutrients. 
that you usually are not getting in your other foods. Not in much the way of calories, but it's not always about calories. Sometimes it is just about nutrition. So that's gone. I got the artwork going. Uh, I do also I like my knives. So I call this kind of my bling. So here's a case knife, nice thin blade. Uh, I've had some people from the UK on there, and then I found out that you can't even have knives over there. So I'll give you an idea. To me, it's basically like my uh, dress up jewelry for when I go out. There we go. Uh, appreciate you guys stopping in. Good morning. Um, eggs are going real quick. This will be a, a fast cook breakfast. So I'll get to have a question and answer. Yesterday I had preparation show up. And my live chat went for an hour and 47 minutes. It was, it was a lot of fun. I was just on his channel earlier this morning. Notice his at 8.15. And I do mine at 9.30. It seems 9.30 is a better time for me anyway. So the eggs, the last thing I go in, uh, between the steak and the eggs and the milk, I should be getting about 50 grams of protein in there with this meal. Once again, it's probably going to be around 700 calories. Dinner last night was steak and fr home fries, and uh, it was probably about 1,500 calories. Man, it was good. Uh, when I talk about, you know, nutrition, I talk about making gains and getting in shape, and then I talk about nutrition, and I talk about rest. Uh, unfortunately, last night, I did not sleep well. I, I don't know what was going on, but I, I had a pain in my, my shoulder. And I couldn't quite explain. So I got up at 1 and took a couple of aspirin. And, and got up at 3 and took a couple more. And I probably didn't get to sleep until probably around 4. And then I was up at 6.30. So today is going to be interesting when I go in the gym because I know I didn't get enough sleep. But if I take a nap during the afternoon, it'll probably mess with me. So I'm just going to try to keep active until the end of the day. So now that I got all that goes, time to pop the eggs in there. Today I'm doing deadlifts. That's a big, heavy exercise. So I usually throw an extra egg in than usual. Yesterday I bought four of these because I, I, I'm going through them a lot faster, I've noticed. So, ground pepper, a little salt, get the dish out. And breakfast gets done pretty quickly here. Uh, <clears throat> other things that worked out. So yesterday I, I hit both goals. My goal in gym yesterday was to have my heavy, heaviest bench at 430 pounds. Or for those of you over in metric land, that would have been uh, 195 kilos. And then on my burnout of 315 pounds, I think 140 kilos, somewhere about. Uh, I did get my goal of 11 reps. <clears throat> my one uh, gym owner, Ben Robbins, he was like, you know, he wanted me to go for, you know, 440 after the 430 because it went up quickly. And I said, no, that's not how I train. I always train where if I get that extra rep on the burnout, I go up five pounds the next week. Uh, the, the whole idea is when you're training heavy, 
you sometimes got to slow yourself down. But it's very easy when you're going around a strong day and you're, you're pushing nice big weights, just keep going and going and going. And, and over time, I, I found out that's how you get hurt. So it, I have to slow myself down sometimes. Monday will be my next bench day. And 435 will be my, my goal. And 12 reps on 315 will be my goal. And I tell you, it's easier to hit that one heavy rep than it is to hit those lots of repetitions on the other weight. But that training has worked well for me. I want to thank Connor for uh, being my first member. He's a gym member. And I will be uh, sending him a lengthy email here in about an hour or so, kind of getting an idea of where we're going to take his workout. He's stuck at a certain weight. He was doing a 5x5 five five program. I found 5x5s five initially will get you to a certain point, and then you kind of plateau, and that's where he's at. So I'm going to kind of put him on my program and see if we can bump uh, his bench up another 20 pounds or 10 kilos in the next couple months. And, and that's the type of goals you're looking for. You don't want to be setting ridiculous goals that cause you to get hurt when you're trying to reach them. Uh, I, I've just watched it too often where somebody has increased their bench by a huge margin in a short period of time, and it has caused injuries. You know, they get into a meet, they open up with a weight that they do in the gym two or three times, and all of a sudden now they have a pec tear. And the thing of it is, is because they develop muscle faster than you can develop tendon and ligament strength. So sometimes you have to slow yourself down. You have to pay attention. If I start getting really sore in here, I know it's time to take a break from the heavy weights for maybe a week. You know, that's telling me that something's getting stretched out too difficult. Uh, back in 2019, I didn't pay attention to that. And I took a pec tear. And I did recover from it. But uh, it kind of calls me to make sure. So what store were the t-shirts you said you were designing? So I got two for sure, maybe three t-shirts I'm going to design. Uh, Kaylee at the Shore Fitness is going to design one where I'm, I think I'm sitting over a Claymore. And it's going to have Scottish Power on it. And in the back, I think I'm going to have one of my two sayings. You know, one is just get in the gym and lift. And the other one's going to be, that's how it's done. Uh, I'm also seeing what my uh, daughters can come up with because they're, they're very creative. But until then, on the $2.99 membership level, I will be offering these shirts. So these are Operation 1620. And uh, they, they did join with the Benefit Veterans Network. And what they do is they reach out to veterans that are either hooked on alcohol or hooked on opioids. And uh, we get them off both the opioids and alcohol by using more natural means and eventually get them off completely. Uh, post office lady seen this shirt when I came in one day, asked about it. We got her sister on the program. She has been uh, alcohol free for, I think, seven months now. So that is a huge win. So we sell these T-shirts at the gym. If you want them, shoot, shoot a message over to uh, scottishfitness at gmail.com. Please hit the membership at $2.99. That will be one of the perks. So I have these in a tank top, a girl's tank top, and a T-shirt uh, for $25. $25. I don't know what that is in pounds. And then I'll, I'll figure the cheapest way to send it. Shouldn't be too bad, but I'll go to the post office and find out. And then they also have a hoodie for $45. Uh, and those will be also offered, you know, through Scottish Fitness. And then I hope to have some uh, design ones here within a week. And then what I might do is I might show some designs, put them on a poll, and ask your guys' opinion on it, which ones do you think are the best ones? So that's coming. Uh, at the gym member at the 699, I provide uh, uh, fitness and uh, nutrition and you know, guidance through uh, you know either email or if you pop on my Facebook and get on Messenger, we can do video chats every now and then. 
And then at the $24.99, that's actually for my local people that I actually meet in the gym and train. So uh, that's how I'm, I'm going to do that. Uh, anybody knows if you're training in a gym, 25 bucks a month is dirt cheap. So, but it's for people that are in the uh, central Illinois area, the six ninety nine are for those who are not, but I can still give them help. Obviously, I can do a lot more on a one-on-one, so it, it donates to more of the charge. I do have clients I train in the gym, and in my rate, is sixty bucks an hour. All right, and I, I've got two great clients that are making really good strides, and I'm really proud of them. Uh, I've got to come up here. FYI. And uh, so for the future t shirts, uh, the 295 membership will be required. Uh, kind of. It's my bribe. <laughs> it's three bucks a month. Uh, I also will make uh, videos just for members. <clears throat> you know, we'll, we'll kind of, you know, maybe do some fun stuff. You know, uh, I'll have polls. What, what do you want to see? You know, and I'll have the members vote on the video they want me to make, and I'll make that video. And we'll have fun with it. You know, I don't just do fitness, and then I do cooking. I uh, I did cooking a steak and, and home fries last night that I put out there. I do my breakfast. Uh, every now and then I'll find something really cool at the store, you know, like at Costco or whatever that I want to share. You know, they, they'll have some great deals for stuff around the house. Uh, once, once spring hits here, I'll do some of my garden, you know, show you how I plant stuff in that, you know, but the, the meat and potatoes, no pun intended, uh, is going to be fitness and nutrition and the two tying together. If, if you're trying to get fit, you need to be eating correctly. I was talking to two individuals yesterday. One wants to lose weight. One wants to gain weight. Nutrition was the key to both of them. And I says, just do it in small things. You know, uh, you want to lose weight. Take your daily, your daily calorie intake and reduce it by a couple hundred calories. You know, you don't make drastic changes because drastic changes don't become habits. And then the one that wanted to gain weight, I asked, well, what breakfast look like? And she said, coffee. I said, right, so you're, you're not having breakfast. So all she needs to do is have a two or 300 calorie breakfast, and I think she'll put on the weight. Hey there, Ernesto. How you doing? Welcome. So... Once again, for those who are just coming in, I'm going to show Casey, Casey and my daughter's artwork. She did this one for me. Being a veteran, I kind of really made a connection with this one. And then uh, my wife and, of course, my kids being Lakota. This is uh, Chief Sitting Bull. And she did that. She did a few of them. This is a smaller one for me. She did a larger one for, you know, the wife and another one for grandma. I mean, for a few other people, she, she's very talented that way. Uh, my other daughter, very talented. She's got a lovely singing voice. She used to act. So that's what I'm doing with my, my channel right now. Uh, I'm going through and <clears throat> trying how to do better videos than that. Uh, I was supposed to get a camcorder delivered yesterday, but, you know, with the uh, Charlie 19 going on, uh, I'm hopefully I'm, I'm going to get it today. Because right now I'm just using the, the little camera off my computer, you know, off my little laptop. Uh, the video quality is going to be poor because I'm on a hot spot. And uh, it's just not going to download in the HD you know, or upload. But when I'm at the gym... I'm on a Wi-Fi. I bet people go, oh man, much better, you know, video and audio quality, which it'll be. I'm hoping the, the camcorder, I bought a little bit of better one I want called professional equipment, but something in between. Hopefully that will help with the uh, video quality here at the house. And then I may have to look for some sort of uh, DLP or something here uh, from, from the local phone company. I don't have a house phone like most people. I used to have a DSL through it, but they wanted me to keep to pay the, the DSL. They wanted me to also stay on the phone. And I, there, there was a hundred bucks a month I was paying that I didn't need because I had cell phone does everything. Uh, 
So, steak, green peppers, mushrooms, and eggs for breakfast. Nice nutrition one, fair life milk, more protein, less sugar. And I like the taste, but I was in the Army, I can get used to just about anything. My mainstay vitamins are the multivitamin, vitamin, vitamin C, vitamin D3, and zinc. Uh, I also take a B-complex. I also take magnesium, phantasium, uh, and then arginine for uh, blood circulation in that. This is for joint support. It's got collagen, shark cartilage in it, vitamin C, and other things. It's kind of my morning routine. Uh, I do like to cook, and I like to cook with good ingredients. So, you know, I, I, I go out and get some better oils. Uh, I, I picked up the, the Goya um, Rudy from Alaska Prepper. Really likes this this marketing brand. So I haven't cooked with it yet, but I'll check it out. Otherwise, you know, here, here are some. I picked up a uh, an olive farm. I pressed it. So I bought that direct. Always buying stuff to sit there and to cook more flavorful meals. Uh, be honest with you, you know. If you're going to be in the fitness and that, you, you need to eat the food. The worst thing you can do is, you know, drive into a fast food place, you know, McDonald's, Wendy's, or Burger King, or whatever. That's just terrible stuff. Yeah, it really is. It's not something you want to get in the habit of. Anybody got any questions out there? Or could somebody give me a number one and make sure my chat didn't shut off? Sometimes with the hot spot out here, I'm not getting the chats as they come through, and then I'll shut down everything and pop, pop, come in there. So, which lift today? Deadlift. And we'll start with deadlifts, and then I'll do a few uh, other back exercises, pull-ups. I usually do pull-ups at the end. Uh, thanks, Sam. Yep, so I know I'm still alive. Uh, I try to uh, have my back as strong as my front. You know, my, my feeling is you, you should be able to pull what you can push. Uh, I'm always trying to improve, you know, am I ever satisfied with, with where I'm at? No, I'm not. I'm happy to be there, but I'm looking forward to get a little bit better. And what I do is I set uh, small, reasonable goals. My goals this year is to do uh, 205 kilos or 451 pounds in a sanctioned meet, because that'll be five pounds better than I did in 2021, it'll be a new PR, and to do 485 pounds in the gym. Now, the reason the gym weight's always going to be more because you don't have to wait for a press call. You can do a little bounce off the chest. I try to keep it clean. Uh, last year, I did 480. It was a pretty clean one. It wouldn't have been a sanctioned lift, but it was a pretty clean one. And then I took an injury right after it. So uh, there are three months of trying to get back to where I was at. So those are my goals for 2022. Not huge goals, they're just five pounds, but that's how you should do it. Anything I get more than that will be, will be bonus. Uh, I, I know I'll be ready for 485 when I can rep 315 18 times. When I, I can knock it out 18 times, then how many pull-ups can you do? Well, probably right now I'd be good for – before a workout, once I got warmed up, I'd probably be good for eight. When, when I really work them hard, then I'm good for about 15. Uh, you know, I weigh 260 pounds. Uh, that's what, probably about 117 to maybe 120 kilos. And when I, when I work out, my endurance curve is like this. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's gone. So a lot of times people go, oh, it looked like you had two or three more. I didn't. I go until I'm done. Um, so plan and implement the hook grip for the deadlift. No, I think I'm going to give up on it. What I realized is when I was lifting like this, I was, I, was, I was trying to curl it. And that was putting the tension here and here. So now that I'm keeping the arms straight and coming up, I didn't feel that. So I'm just going to, I'm going to stay with this grip. I'm just going to have to remember to keep my arms locked out and not try to curl it. I think that's going to help me. Uh, I tried to hook her up. <clears throat> it just wasn't working for me. Uh, Justin Ball, am I on TRT? No, I'm, I am not. 
I don't have any opinion one way or another about it. You know, I think if you're an adult and you're willing to assume, you know, the risk and rewards, you know, do what you want to do. I don't feel the need for TRT. I've researched it. I've talked to some of my friends who had one on it. And what I, what I came up with is the one buddy, he was on it for about two years at first. He was, he was a great God. He called me up, oh my God, this is wonderful stuff and that. But he had a, a medical condition that was actually required for it from the VA. But then after about a year, uh, that effect went away. And then it seemed to be, or he was actually back down lower than he was before. So uh, I try to eat nutritious. I try to stay active. Uh, I, I take the arginine before I work out. I take it before I go to bed. I think that helps release some of my natural testosterone. Uh, I, I mean, I don't even use the nugenics from GNC because what I've kind of felt, and it's just an opinion. I'm, I'm not a medical doctor. I didn't do any big research paper on it and that. Is I just think it, it, it initially will bring your testosterone up, and then after a period of time, whether that period is three months or whether it's a year, you'll drop down even lower than you were initially, and then then you got to deal with the uh, the mental trying to get back in the gym. So, you know, am I am I sometimes more tired than I should be when I'm working out? Yeah, I, I push through it. You know, trying to make sure that my my nutrition is right. You know, may I make may I change my mind on TRT in you know five years from now or ten years from now? I don't know, but for right now, it's not something I think I require. I you know um, I I don't even get my test row checked because I don't want to hear a number because that number will maybe will color my my feelings on what I can accomplish. So I just keep working at it and as long as I can. Get five pound PRs every year, then I figure I'm doing doing the right thing. Does you know is it a little harder now? Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm 60. I'm going to be 61 in March, but uh, I for the most part I like where I'm at. I need to lose a little bit off my belly. I want to let that get a little bit too developed <laughs> in the wrong way. But uh, vitamins and minerals and healthy food, those those are the things I think are are worthwhile doing. Otherwise, you're, I don't know, you're just playing around with Mother Nature. I just, maybe when they learn more, you know, more research on it. Uh, what are the other people I follow? Uh, got regular calls or a spam call? Telemarketer. Yeah, I love them. Sometimes when I'm bored, I'll talk to them in Korean. I was stationed over there for a year when I was in the service. Unfortunately, all I know is cuss words. <laughs> well, yeah, I know some other ones too. But uh, so breakfast is all ready to rock and roll. Uh, do you do push-ups? I do. Uh, not often, but I'm going to try to get into a, uh, in a more of a regular thing. i tell you, when I get down to the ground, it... It takes more to get my butt back up. I don't have the kids to grab my hand and, and help pull myself up. But I used to used to come home at night. I had a pull-up bar at the entrance of the bedroom. I would do five sets of 15, and I'd do by five sets of 25 on the push-ups before I went to bed. Uh, does Rest time between sets matter. Oh, absolutely. So I know for a fact, because I'm older, I, I, I take longer breaks. Uh, it, it takes more time for my muscles to get the fatigue out of them and get the energy back in there. You know, in my 30s, I probably only took 60 seconds in between sets. But, uh, you know, now I'm taking at least three minutes you know, sometimes five. I'm not really religious on it. I'll look at the clock. I'll have an idea. Okay, you know, it's 1.30, 1.33 or 1.34. I'll get back on the bench and do the next set. But, yeah, recovery time does take longer because I'm older. You know, that, that's just going to be that way. I mean, I'm physically stronger, but my endurance is not what it used to be. 
but uh you know do what's good for you you know um I am going to start doing some more exercises this year that's going to help me get off the ground faster. Uh, but your, your rest time matters. Now, you don't want to take too much rest. You know, if you're taking six or seven minutes, you're actually going to start losing your pump and your, your, your muscles are going to start cooling down. So, you know, in the 50 or 60, 70 age bracket, I would say, you know, at least three minutes between sets. You know, once you get in heavier weights, I mean, on my warm up sets, you know, when I'm doing the bar only 95 or 135, yeah, I take about a minute, but I'm just trying to get myself warmed up. That's 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 a different type of workout. But yes, rest, rest time between sets is, you know, if you get the rest perfect, then you can press more weights. If you can press more weights, you can get a better workout. If your nutrition is better, you'll get more out of that workout. They all tie in together, you know. Uh, when, when people are asking about getting gains in that, the first thing I ask is, what's your nutrition look like? And 90% of the time, that's where the problem is. It's not the workout. It's not their their commitment. It's that they're, they're not feeding themselves. Yeah, so it take five minutes in between sets. Yeah, especially a power lifter. I mean, we're, we're picking up heavy weights a few times. If you're doing toning, you're picking up light weights numerous and numerous times. And if you're a bodybuilder, you're doing, you know, kind of in between that. You know, uh, it, it depends what your goals are. You know, I always just wanted to be strong. I didn't necessarily want to look strong. You know, when I'm wearing a loose shirt and I walk into a new gym, nobody's anticipating me to push the weights that I can do. You know, but, uh, yeah, when I'm out on the on the water or the beach and that, you know, I look pretty good for 60 years old. You know, am I cut? No. You know, I've got some insulation there. But, the, you know, my shoulders and arms and, and chest and back, you know, lets people know I can pick up some good weight. But I'll, I'll pick up more weight than people twice my size because we worked out different. You work for size, you're going to get bigger. You know, you're missing not going to be picking up the same weight as a power lifter. You know, except those power lifters that weigh 400 pounds. But uh, it's, it's, it's the type of training you want to do. What's your best three-mile run time? Now? <laughs> or do you mean when I was in high school? Yeah, when I was in high school, I could do a... Oh, I could probably do a 19 minutes in three miles. You know, I, I, I did distance. I wasn't great at it. I was okay at it. But now... I, I can't run three miles. I can I can jog and walk it, but uh, and I ain't talking about on a treadmill. Yeah, you know, can I, can I can I run a three mile on treadmill? Yeah, can I run it out on the road? Whole different story. You know, treadmill's still good, but understand it's the treadmill is helping you move your 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 legs. So I don't have a three mile run time. I would imagine it would probably be over a half hour. Uh, I, Hector, first time watching the breakfast chat. Thanks for joining in. Please hit the like button and sus subscribe and share and all that other good stuff. I'll appreciate it. Uh, so what we're doing is we're talking about nutrition and we do a couple of side things, you know, artwork, a few nice knives, <laughs> but mostly it's nutrition, uh, vitamins and minerals. And here to, you know, to answer the questions I get, I, I usually get really good ones. But uh, the three-mile time, I will have a three-mile time by the end of the year. Uh, my, my goal is to uh, break 30 minutes. Uh, how often do you train? Three days a week or five days? So I train generally about four to five days a week. So, I mean, like I said, I, I trained on Monday. I trained on Tuesday. Wednesday, I took a rest day. Thursday, I trained. I'm going to train today. That's, that's four days. And then uh, I'm going to try to meet up with... One of my members at the local gym tomorrow, and we'll probably just do something fun. But we'll do a training day there if I can meet up with John. Uh, <clears throat> because he's, he's not too far from Shorewood. So, yeah, I train four to five days a week. Uh, generally, I want at least two rest days. Uh, Sunday is always my day of rest unless I'm competing. You know, when you're doing a competition, that, that's a workout. You gotta warm up. You gotta, you gotta get ready for those lifts. 
Um, but uh, at, at the least four days a week. But I always try to throw a fifth day in there. You know, I, I have two bench days, Monday and Thursdays. And uh, actually last week I had three bench days. I had a meet on Saturday. Mm. So I'm getting a little bit of food and not eating. And then I generally work out about an hour and a half, 90 minutes each day. And most of the army has a 13 five strike, 15 Ford Observer. I spent more time out in the field than 11 Bravos did. Because when they went out, I went out. When our children went out, I went out. When the armor went out, I went out. They got bored. They attached me to a Marine unit for naval gunfire. Uh, just before uh, that field problem we called Granada. That's when I was in the 101st Airborne. So, it was a uh, it was a good time. I learned a lot of things. I was in for six years. When it was time to go. Any longer, I was probably going to get in trouble. I mean, the, the first four years were good for me. I did a lot of growing up. I was really good at my job. My best friend was really good at his job. We let those ones higher ranking us know that we were really good at our job. I don't think they appreciated it, but anytime they had an RTEP, they had to pass. You know, it was Lee Hugo Rick Bean shooting the missions. But we took our job serious. We knew in time of war, depending on how well we knew our job, we were either going to save people or we were going to kill people. We wanted to make sure that we saved them. So, learned a lot of good skills, and uh, all three of my kids went to service. Well, they went Navy, Navy, and then Air Force. Now, they were smarter than me, <laughs> but I'm proud of their service for doing that. Oh, yeah, it's good. So, there's going to be a regular thing at 9.30, breakfast chat, or something that I'm going to do at least three days a week, maybe four. I always uh, go Navy, yeah. So they cheat at football. No, just kidding. <laughs> but my, my daughter was on the Nimitz. She was a nuke. She's now married. She married. That was on the Nimitz, and he was a new. They're doing really well. My son was in the Navy, and my youngest daughter is still in the Air Force. So, I definitely got to see the world. I got to see the world when I was in. Uh, you know, so I, I that, that, had that experience to draw on. Uh, my dad was Army. His his brothers were Navy in Army. My mom's brothers were Navy. Had a bunch of cousins that were Army and Navy on my dad's side. And my wife's dad, my father in law, he was Marine. Hey, cousin, yeah, what courier were you on? So I, that's my cousin from my dad's side on there. He's my older cousin by one day. <laughs> what? He was a Navy, uh, Uncle Paul's kids. You know, Donnie was Army. I think Steve was Navy. Uh, I 
Uncle Dan's kids. I know uh, Dan was Navy. And then my sister was Navy and I was I was Army. The other four didn't go in. But we do have a kind of a wall of honor where I got all the pictures up of my dad, my dad, my three kids, and myself. Coral Sea, okay, cool. Now, was that out of Virginia? But my daughter, they were, she was out of us. But I'm in Washington and San Diego. Have I ever torn a pack looking heavy? Yes. Uh, after I hit that 480 the next week, I was feeling full myself and, and I wasn't paying attention to being really tight. So I did a 405 pause. Did a 425 pause, a 445 pause. I went for a 470 and I felt a little twing. And I had the spotter grab it. And three days later, I was blanking through all through here. Uh, wife was, was not happy with me. That was December 21st of 2019. I took three weeks off. Because Vince, the owner of the gym, will let me in. <laughs> Not to lift anyway. And then by, I did a meet on February 28th. And I set a new PR where I did uh, 195 kilos and 430 pounds. And then July, I did two meets where I got 200 kilos, 440 pounds, or 441 as they call it. Both in Iowa, one for the USPA, one for the UPA. And then in November, in Peoria, I hit 202 and a half kilos, or 446 pounds. And that's my standing record, which now has me tied for fifth all time. Again, Masters 60 to 64, 275 pound class. So, yeah, gosh. Yeah, it was out. It was one of those times I had to have a really long conversation about am I going to be able to continue to do this sport? And I've seen other people get into reason. And then come back. I was fortunate. Uh, I didn't do any surgery. To be honest, I didn't even go see the doctor. You know, stubborn Scottish. But I did make an adjustment. Used to bench way out here, and now I'm, now I'm in a little bit more. And um, I, I pay attention to how my my connections feel. So, hopefully by this year, you guys will get to watch me at least move up the ranks. I think I can get number two eventually in my weight class. Uh, the guy who's got number one spot is over 510 pounds. I just don't see that happening. And uh, if I drop down to 242 or 110 kilos, I think I'd get the number one position. Never thought I would be there. So it, it's kind of exciting. It's kind of what got me to do the YouTube channel. I'm, I'm finding a great community out here on YouTube. I mean, I subscribe to other channels. Uh, I have joined membership to other channels because I really like their message. Not all of them are fitness. You know, I do other things. There's some good prepared ones out there that are worth seeing. Uh, go visit John at uh, Prepper, Prepper Nation. Rudy over at Alaska Prepper. Uh, yeah, Canadian Prepper. I forget his first name. Damn it. <laughs> And uh, all good people and give you really good information. All these things are good. Uh, shoulder damage or dramas. Uh, so, 
twice hurt my shoulders. First time I was a track coach, and I didn't think they were trying to run fast in the gym, so I raced them. And seriously misjudged my breaking distance. Uh, good news is I won. The bad news is I went into the wall at full sprint. And uh, my shoulder bound me for about two years. It's a good question, a good leading question. So I ran into a, a guy who was studying to be a doctor, and he, he turned me in on some exercises, which I was planning on demonstrating. So it's really light weights, you know, five, seven and a half pounds or whatever. Uh, these are some older socks that exercises to do call these field goals yay and light weights you know do sets of 15 to 20 or reps of 15 to 20 do three to four sets you can do these every day and what these do is these strengthen those small muscles that keep the rotator cuff in tight and then you can get into cables and do the this way with a cable still light weights and then come the other way and back in. Those three exercises will do wonders to keep your shoulders in good shape. Good morning, Shane. How we doing? So, uh, a little steak and eggs today. My daughter's artwork. So for those who joined in, I'll, I'll pop back in. So, here's my oldest daughter. And here's some of the artwork she did for me. This one really uh, reached out to me. So when she did that, I asked for it. She gave it to me. <clears throat> this is one she did for, I think she did two of these. Did for her mama. The wife is a Lakota Indian. And this is one of Chief Sitting Bull. Uh, she has other artwork too. I always tell her I want to take her artwork and sell it at the local shops. and that. But anytime she gives me something. I, I just keep it. <laughs> the other thing we're talking about church and the membership. So I got some getting designed. But until I do, and even afterwards, I do offer these. It's Operation 1620 uh, program that goes along with the Benefit Veterans Network to help get veterans off of opioids or alcohol abuse. I've already got a few success stories I'm very happy about here locally. We sell this in a man or woman's tank top. We sell it in a t-shirt. We sell it in a hoodie. If you're interested, hit the join button for that $2.99 or 95 cents, whatever it is. And shoot me an email and let you know what you want. The tanks and t-shirts are 25 bucks. Uh, the hoodie, I think, is 45 bucks. And I'll mail it out to you as cheap as possible. Yeah, steak and eggs is good. I got steak eggs, uh, green pepper, mushrooms. Just a wonderful way to start the day. After I get done with the live chat, I'll pay some bills. And then I'll run out to the gym and do some deadlifts. And it's a pretty good, you know, I get up early in the morning. There's a, a live I like to, to listen into on Prepper Nation. Sit there, cook breakfast, have my live, you know, do your three S's uh, sometime in between, and then head to the gym. Then if I need to, I need to stop at the grocery store, which I'm going to do because I was going to get sausage yesterday and I forgot. Because uh, on the next, next breakfast, I'm going to do biscuits and gravy. I would have done that today. I forgot to get it, but I had steak last night, which I do have a video out there on it. So I figured what, a, what the best way is to cut up the leftover steak and mix in with some eggs. And I, I'm going to get used to this. Mmm. Fair life milk for protein, half the sugar. Vitamins and minerals for health. Some of your multivitamin, your vitamin C, your vitamin D3, and your zinc for immune, immunity strength, especially these day and ages. And the magnesium, potassium, and the zinc for muscle uh, repair. 
and B complex just to feel better about stuff. I appreciate people joining in, hitting the like button. Uh, if you like my content, please subscribe. If you really like my content, please become a member. Like I said, the basic membership allows you to buy t-shirts. And you can bug me with emails. And eventually I'll, I will do some content just for my members. My channel has just started, so it's going to take a while before I get to that point. Uh, the gym member. I'll provide nutrition and uh, workout advice via email or messenger. And then on the high one, Gym Pro, really for my local people, you know, that I meet in the gym and train. But if you want to do that, go ahead and do it. I'll be honest with you, do it. Third month, I'll send you a t-shirt. You know, just give me your address. If you do have any questions, uh, email me at scottishfitness at gmail.com. I think I have the ability to do super chats now. Any, any contributions will go through better equipment. Next week, so Monday, Mama Jules. Monday, I'll make sure I do biscuits and gravy. And, uh, oh, quantum. <laughs> Yeah, I'm loving. I don't know if I'm a legend, but thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and then, uh, every one of these days, I'll do pancakes. You know, uh, then I'll then I can showcase my, you know, maple, pure maple syrup and raw honey. It's funny because I'm on a couple channels and I'm seeing some of the same people. I know. So it's kind of becoming a community. Yeah, and it's a nice community. I like that. You know, we don't have all the same beliefs in that, but, you know, we have some of the same core values. I like the uh, fact that I can help people get healthier. That, you know, I'm, I'm motivating people to get back in the gym. You know, and I'm not telling you to go back in the gym and lift heavy like me. Let's go back in and lift. I don't care if it's five pounds. Get yourself active. You'll be healthier. You'll feel better. Your mental attitude will be better. And eventually life will be better. And if life is good now, you'll do it. It'll be even better. Uh, I know when I took my couple of years off in my 30s, and uh, one day I looked in the mirror and didn't like what I seen, and only had myself to blame for it. So I made some changes. Never thought I would take it to this level. In my 30s, if somebody would have told me I would have been, you know, setting world records and benching that, I would have looked at them like they had a third eye. But you never know. And I say, slow and steady wins the race. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time, be safe, be healthy. Be curious, and uh, I think you'll, you'll really enjoy things. So I'm gonna sign off here. I get as my tour is going. Kitty's sleeping on my chair because she's all comfortable. Pay some bills and and then get on the road. But thank you everybody for stopping in. Please subscribe. Please join if you like my things. Share. Tell your friends. And have a wonderful day.